morning, Patriots. Welcome back to x Fine CV. I'm Nia Seymour. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You now be seated. Today is Tuesday, December 12, 2023. Hi, guys! It's Miss Stone, and I'm here to tell you guys about Bingo Night. Anybody want to be a principal for the day? Or maybe you want some gift cards for fun and food? What about letting your parents skip that car line in the afternoon? All these prizes and so much more are available at Bingo Night. Today is the last day to get those pre-sale tickets. So if you guys want to go, now's the time to buy. Ask your parents, go home, give them the flyer, tell them to log on to my school box. We got dinner packages. We got bingo card packages. It's going to be a great time. Cheerleaders are going to be there. Um, so come show your support for the team. And we'll see you Wednesday night at 6 p.m. for bingo. Let's go to Catherine for today in history. Thank you, Nia. Hi, Patriots. In today's history, on December 12, 1980, Apple made its initial public offering on the U.S. stock market, later becoming the first U.S. company valued over $1 trillion. This was the first time that Apple became known throughout all nations. Before, Apple was just private, but as soon as it became public, it got 4.6 million shares on the stock market. Sales in the market immediately went higher, and Apple workers were becoming instant millionaires. Nowadays, Apple is still popular and we use many of their products, like AirPods and their iPhones. Now let's check in with Daniela for today's lunch. Thank you, Catherine. Today's lunch is corn dog, Italian sandwich, seasoned Italian veggies, red bell pepper, garden side salad, ranch dressing, sliced pears, and your choice of milk. Tomorrow's breakfast is frosted cinnamon rolls, whole green donut rings, Lucky Charms, String Cheese, and 100% Grape Juice. Students, please keep in mind that the lunch menu can change at any time and to let your teachers know if you're receiving lunch today. Hey, Adasa, mm -hmm. do you know when the holiday shop is opening? I'm not sure. Christmas is almost here, so I'm guessing soon. I heard they're getting it ready. We should go over there and take a sneak peek. Good idea. Well, this is convenient. This goes in already. Whoa, fuck. Wow. wow, this is so cool, but um, guys, where's all the stuff? Maybe Santa's helpers didn't bring them yet. Well, I can't wait till it opens. I'm so excited. Same, I have a list this long. Me too, but um, I think we should get going before we get in trouble. Tomorrow, 5th and 6th graders will have the chance to go to the Patriots store. The store is open from 7.15 to 7.55 a.m. Make sure to come on time. Tomorrow, we will put on our best elf attire. Isn't it fun to dress up? Patriots, please keep your phone shut down and in your backpacks at all times. And there's no chewing gum in school. Please spit it out before entering the building. Today, 4th graders will have their fast math. And tomorrow, 5th graders will take their fast math. Make sure to get some sleep. Tomorrow, December 13th, is our bingo bash night which is hosted by our cheerleaders. Tickets and dinner packages are available. You get a free bingo card when you purchase tickets early. It starts at 6 p.m. This will be so epic. Awesome news, Patriots. Our holiday shop is back and opening on Friday. I'm so excited to buy my family some gifts. Our instructional software challenge is going on now and ends January 19th. And your reward will be a pizza and popsicles party. Will you work for this initiative? Friday the 15th from 6 to 9 p.m., we will deck your hearts when we wear the ugliest sweaters in history. And it costs $15 plus a meal. And whoever has the ugliest sweater is crowned the cozy Christmas champion. So cool. Let's check on the weather with Camilo. Thank you, Nia. Hey, Patriots. Today's weather is 60 degrees Fahrenheit with partly sunny skies. It's a chilly day to go outside. In other weather news, temperatures and river currents combine to create a giant rotating ice disk in the inner Mongolia. At first glance, the ice seems to be barely moving at all, but in closer looks reveals a slow, steady spin. Even more bizarre in the seemingly perfect rotation of the disc. 
Did you know that the ice discs are also called ice pancakes? Now let's wish our patriots happy birthday with Giselle. Today's birthday boys and girls are Elijah Ambrose, Ashley Andrade, Malachi Lawrenston, Letizia Mangia. Happy birthday! Now let's go back to Nia. Thank you, Giselle. Patriots, here are your expectations. It presents, present yourself positively, I kindly to others. Treat the schools well respectfully and succeed at everything. Here are the winners from Friday's Daily Challenge and yesterday. Miss Reynolds, Miss Sands, Miss Merkel, Miss Valdez, Miss Fletcher, Miss Stone, Miss Greg, Miss Pardinez, Miss Jordan, Miss Cavalita, and Miss Nelson for getting the correct answer to Friday's Daily Challenge, which was, what is the chemical symbol for gold? And how many time zones are there in Russia? The correct answer was AU and 11. Now for today's Daily Challenge. Daily Challenge. What is the capital city of France? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance.gmail.com before 9 a.m. or order for your answer to be reviewed. Windows will be announced on the next morning announcement. Everyone at RBTV would like to wish you all a thoughtful Tuesday. Have a chilly day!